Okay guys, this is the professor, and this is Land Nav Part 2, Pace Counting. And so what we're doing today out here at the farm is to uh, set up a 100 meter course. This is one end, you can see here our 100 meters on the tape is the equivalent of 328 feet. paces. What I'll do now is repeat that several times because if you don't walk consistently each time you get affected a little bit, uh, especially going up and down hills. I've heard effects it out here on level ground. I'm going to try that several times and get the average of several trips. But uh, I've done this before and found that my pace is about 62 paces or 62 double steps each time I do that. And that's basically going to calibrate my backwoods odometer or my ranger counting beads. And so I'll do that a few more times and then we'll be ready to put this to the actual test. Let's take a quick look here at the ranger counting beads and talk a little bit about them. What well, we've got here, the typical arrangement of ranger counting beads is essentially an abacus on a string and uh, this is a piece of paracord about 30 inches long and I've tied it up with nine beads at this end and four beads at this end so the typical pacing beads have 13 beads these are glow-in-the-dark beads so they'd be handy for for night use and so what we'll do then is take a distance out across the farm probably across that 40 acre field out there which is, we know, a quarter mile by a quarter mile. Now one-fourth of a mile is 1,320 feet, or exactly within just a very small amount, 400 meters. So what we'll do then is to walk across that field out to the road on the other side. And what we should see then is that we will be four beads uh, from the beginning, or 400 meters. So each bead represents 100 meters. And of course, when we get all the way up to here, 900 meters. Once we hit the 900 on the next 100, we will move one of these beads down and so that will represent 1,000 meters or one kilometer. 